So today I'm going to be showing this cute little reindeer topper and you've probably seen the little topper all over the web however I do believe how I've done the antlers was one of those very few original thoughts that I have and it all stemmed from what could I use that I already own. A lot of the things I'd seen on the web I didn't have but I got to thinking this oak leaf on the autumn accents die from the holiday catalog would make perfect antlers. So uh, we'll get started. First we're going to um, cut out our little topper with the big um, accent or excuse me top note die. Um, and I love this die. It's probably one of the best selling dies that Stampin' Up! has because it you know makes these cute little stitched looks. And I'm going you're gonna fold that in half to create your antler face. And I pre-punched out little eyeballs. Um, this is with a three-quarter inch punch and the little black pupil is the circle from our Itty Bitty Shapes bundle which is a cute set of three um, little punches, a four petal flower, a multi petal flower, and this circle. And that is in the regular catalog on page 183. But I have um, or pre punched them and we're going to place them on our little reindeer. Now he really can have his eyeballs going in any direction. The great part about, you know, live is that you get to see me just like you do at workshops where I really sometimes I'm tongue tied, can't remember what something's called. And, um, you know, so you get the best of it. I'm punching out reindeer's nose with the one inch circle punch. And I want a little bit of design on that. So we're going to take our big shot again. Now you can live in the stamping world without a big shot. I'm not sure how, but it, I know I did it for, you know, probably 10 years. So it can be done. We're taking our reindeer nose, putting it in between this folder, which is the square lattice folder, which is what I use quite frequently. We're going to sandwich it. I've got it on tab one. And we're cranking through. And there we have our little um, decorative nose. As long as I got the big shot here, I think I'll go ahead and cut out the leaf. We're going to put our platform down, our plate, our, our leaf die, and we're going to stick a piece of Sahara, hand, sa <clears throat> excuse me, Sahara sand scrap. You can tell we haven't had a good enough freeze here in Minnesota because I'm still battling the allergies, which also make it more difficult for me to talk. So we've cut that leaf out. And we're just going to take a scissor and you're going to just randomly make a weaving point. And I kind of just took off the little edge of that point, you know, to make it not a little more rounded. And there are our antlers. So to continue on, we're going to take a dimensional. The little honeycomb things that I order by the dozens because life just needs to be given a little lift sometimes with the dimensional to give you dimension. I'm going to stick that right in the middle. And okay, I was trying to decide how to get these to attach, so I put um, some snail like this. Well, you know, that didn't look so good, so now we need to cover that up. So we're going to take the decorative label, we're going to punch that out, take some soft suede ink, and the to and from from the chuck full of cheer, which is in the main catalog, and we're just going to stamp to and from. Oh, a little crooked, I guess, of course that is life sometimes. And but thank heavens there's always two sides to our paper. We're going to run our snail on the back and voila. So now 
that's as quick and easy as it gets. You're just going to put some little treats in your um, cello bag and put your topper on top and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this this week and we'll see you next week for some more video on stamping and fun ideas. Thanks for stopping by stamps to die for.com.